Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. Today we'll discuss about uh, uh, liberal transformation. Coming to the agenda, we'll discuss what is uh, liberal transformation, when to use, types and demo. Coming to the liberal transformation. Uh, normally, uh, transformations are two types. One is passive transformation, and another is uh, active transformation. Uh, passive transformations are nothing but uh, the number of rows uh, given to the transformation is equal to the number of rows outputted from that particular transformation. And uh, active transformation is uh, number of rows. I mean, number of input rows given to that uh, particular transformation is not equal to the number of uh, output rows. Uh, here coming to the labeler transformation it is an uh, passive transformation and it gives uh, the uh, number of records you are passing is equal to the number of uh, output uh, records and it does not modify data but it's analyze the input fields simply uh, this transformation is used to classify or label the data based on your rules uh, for example if you are not sure of the any data type in a particular input port you can uh, use the uh, labeler transformation to understand what is the uh, type of the data present in it based on your predefined rules or uh, any reference data table you are using for that when to use uh, normally this Labeler transformation assigns uh, a descriptive labels for each value in a port, enabling target data analysis. Like uh, it is helps it helps to identify and label sensitive information like uh, credit card numbers or social security numbers or email addresses. Like for example, when you are working with uh, new data sets, it helps for the data cleansing uh, by using this transformation. Uh, you simply understand what type of information is present in that each field by assigning some strategies based on your labels information <laughs> and it helps for data validation and data cleansing uh, simply it will detect and label invalid data or inconsistent entries for your correction or cleansing process it simply it helps to improve the data quality present in that particular input you are using for that labeler transformation next types uh, coming to the labeler transformation we can perform this transformation to perform character labeling or token labeling character labeling nothing but uh, it's a label uh, it's a labeling of the character structure of the input string including any punctuations you have and spaces it will generate a single label for each row in a column for example, if you have a zip code with a number format, you can understand what is the format of that uh, zip code uh, from based on your character labeling. And next one coming to that uh, token labeling. Uh, token labeling refers to a delimited uh, value with the input string. Labels the trans uh, type of information in the input string. Uh, it's simply writing a label for each token identified. For example, if you have a name and you want to label with the tokens then it will give the word uh, like word like what are the character in between have and uh, like what are the type of that um, label you selected it will identify for each word and it will give that information next demo first launch your uh, developer client and connect your MRS and then uh, uh, create a mapping with uh, mapping and uh, fetch your source there <coughs> here I'm running data preview on it to check the data So here we have this information first uh, then we need the label transformation yeah I'm adding this so like I'm considering first contact information okay and I'm going to properties and I'm adding a strategy 
yeah this one is name is contact label input contact uh, contact underscore labeled output okay I am using the mode character token I am just clicking next I am using character states uh, you can use the reference data table where you can have the column of uh, what is the data you want to match with the other uh, uh, data you can have it in your reference table and you can use the same so I am selecting uh, the number here so digits so I'm just uh, finishing it so now I'll check the contact information see if you can see that a particular column have all the numbers without any uh, special characters that's why we are getting all the numbers as 9 so which means it contains the only digits it does not have any special characters next I'm going with uh, token uh, next I'm selecting the email as an uh, input and I'm adding one more strategy okay label or email underscore label okay I'm selecting email here and the output port should be email underscore labeled output okay and I'm using here token see here it mentioned delimiter as space I'm just uh, using the delimiter as uh, sign here at the rate okay uh, tokenized what is the tokenized output we'll get that one and I'm using uh, yeah <coughs> I'm just selecting only at the rate I'm uh, using the delimiter at hyphen s space and then just clicking next I'm just using with token set next so that is token set with uh, email id email address and i'm clicking finish so now we will see what is the information we are getting whatever ha we have it in email we will get as a uh, uh, space as I use that particular token and if you can see right the tokenized data will be like this slash s uh, that will be space and after that at the end also there is a space that's why this is uh, how the labeler transformation works uh, for more information on label transformation you can refer the below link and we would like to hear uh, your feedback from the below websites thank you